everybody! Long time no see! Soapy fun times here! What is up? So a lot of people have been asking me if I have picked up my car. Yes, I have picked up my 2015 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Edition in Sublime Green a few weeks ago. I've just been so busy with work I haven't had time to film it for you guys. I promise a video of that car will be coming up soon and many other videos to come. I've just been super busy with work, hence no videos. But I got some exciting news yesterday and I had to suffer throughout the night of not opening this so I could do this box opening reveal. I got my quarterly fortune cookie soap box. And this is the winter themed one and it is actually based off one of my all time favorite movies growing up as a kid, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation from 1989 with Chevy Chase. And oh my god, I used to watch that movie like crazy and because of this soap box, I'm probably going to end up watching it this weekend. So here is the logo, you know, it's following that classic, um, what the the cover image was, it would be pictures of the house or Chevy Chase being electrocuted in the Santa suit. And that is just one of the most awesome movies ever. And I need to see it again because of this. I was like watching clips of the movie last night because of this box. So without further ado, let's get this thing opened. Hi guys, so I have a really upset face on me right now because I filmed the whole opening video and it didn't film properly. It completely disconnected my voice to my movement to the point where it was gonna be way too much editing and it was just so off. It was just absolutely ridiculous. So I'm, unfortunately, I've already opened everything. So I'm just going to have to show you guys what it is and read the description. And I'm not going to be as enthusiastic because I'm really pissed off. I lost the original clip and I just, so I'm just going to show you guys the product. I'm really sorry this happened. I'm just really, 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 really annoyed right now. So the first product was Musma Cuticle Butter and it's can I refill your eggnog? It's rich cream egg and a touch of nutmeg. And uh, like I said, I really love this movie. So every single quote I read, I understand. And I'm sorry, my phone just went off. But I get all the quotes in this movie, in this in the soapbox, because I used to watch this movie like crazy. So they're really funny quotes. I'll be reading them still out loud to you guys, even though I was really upset about what happened. But it's um, a strong eggnog -y scent. I don't want to put my nose too close to it because I'm a little sensitive to the smell. It's a, nice, it's a sweet scent. If I smell it from a distance, I like it, but I'm happy I got more cuticle butter because I do need it. A moose mug cuticle butter. So that is the first product. Okay, the next product is our OCD hand sanitizer, and this is based off the pool scene in the movie. Meli Kelekika Maka, with visions of swimming pools dancing in your head. Tropical spiced rum, Tahiti and vanilla, sprinkled with jasmine petals and twisted woods. And I had really smelt the uh, vanilla scent, I think. And did I smell the woodsy scent? I might have. And I actually liked this one a lot better than the other one in the last box. Yeah, you can um, definitely smell that vanilla scent. And you smell a little bit of the tropical rum scent in it. And I like this hand sanitizer better than I like the Roy G. Biv hand sanitizer from the fall box because the last one to me honestly smelled mostly like just a basic soap like I could not smell anything that was in the description for that one and this one I can and between you and me guys I actually since I went through all the products I actually like the scents for this box a lot more than the fall box just my own opinion just gonna say that but yeah look matches my shirt and everything but yes I do like the scent for this hand sanitizer and I can smell some of the products in the description which is awesome and here is our fortune cookie slightly disappointed that it's another red fortune cookie since we got a red one which was based off Dorothy's shoes in the last box but that's okay no worries on that so my description is weird it says I don't know if I ought to go sailing down no hill with nothing between the ground and my brains but a piece of government plastic no idea what that means but this smells really awesome um, it actually reminds me a lot of my soap by Marilyn friend, uh, her Blue Sky soap, because it has some of the, uh, the same scents in it. This one ha is, Tis the season to be merry. Buy this for your wife, dot, 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 God rest her soul. A hint of sweet almond with warm swirls of tobacco, and her Blue Sky soap had the tobacco in it, too. And it's like a soapy, sweet smell of tobacco. It's not like disgusting tobacco cigarette smell, but... It's a pretty soap regardless. I always love their fortune cookies. This one's not as sparkly and um, clear through, uh, see through red like the last soap. But yeah, it's still a neat soap. Smells very nice. It's got like a powder sparkle through it. And it's obviously not see through like I just said. But yeah, that is their fortune cookie for this box. 
Okay, and the next product, I don't want to hold it too long or else it's going to melt in my hand, is the Sparky Hydrate Me. We dedicated this to the FCS family Christmas. Drum roll, please. Scrumptious vanilla pumpkin waffles topped with brown sugar, pecans, and sheets of fresh whipped cream. And the, in the first thing I had smelt in this was the pumpkin and the vanilla. They did an awesome job on the scent on this. And they were actually having, if you had gotten a black one instead of this colored one, um, like it was supposed to be like a burnt out bulb, like in the movie, there's this scene about it. But as I was saying, if you had gotten a black one, you would have gotten some sort of like $50 gift card or something, I believe. But yeah, that is their hydrate me. And I really like the scent of that one. And now it's time for our whipped cream. So as always, there's four different kinds and you could have gotten one of the four. You could have gotten squirrel whipped cream, handmade with a special low cholesterol recipe, a festive blend of apples, sun ripened strawberries and plums dancing with zests of orange and a splash of lime. Jelly of the Month Club whipped cream. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Succulent strawberry, sweet vanilla sugar, and sticky syrup with a squeeze of orange. You could have gone Jello Surprise whipped cream. A little cat kibble never hurt anyone. I love that scene. Um, that, that scent would have been festive plum with a zesty curl of citrus, all wrapped up pretty like with the winter orchard and soft sandalwood. And then the fourth one is a bend over and I'll show you. Where do you think you're going to put a Christmas tree that big? I've got an idea. Tart cranberry, crest pine, and herbal spruce worn by clove and a splash of sweet mandarin orange. And the scent I had ended up getting was Jelly of the Month Club. And you're not going to get that description or that quote unless you've seen the movie. And by the way, I highly recommend seeing the movie. Who cares if it's from 1989? It's an amazing movie. So I'm actually got, glad I got this one because I really like the scent to this one. You instantly smell the strawberries and orange which smells absolutely amazing. And after reading the other descriptions, I, like I said, I'm happy I got this one because I think in general I would have liked this scent the most. So really awesome smelling whipped cream, guys. Really, really good job on this one, Fortune Cookie Soap. I'm so happy I got this one. And I am super happy about this because they got a Steamy Up Scotty shower steamer and I'm so excited because this means I can test out now another scent and see how shower steamers are with other scents besides that one I had gotten the hair flip scent and I wasn't too happy about how strong it was so this one is I pledge allegiance amen shower steamer they want you to say the damn grace a brisk and outdoorsy blend of blue spruce and balsam fir fresh mint and garden herbs and you instantly smell the mint and then you smell a little bit of the outdoorsy like pine kind of scent to it so this has mint in it a very strong scent in general and I have high hopes that I'm going to be able to smell this in the scent in the uh, shower when I end up using it I'll have to give you guys an update on this product but I am super super happy about this product then we have fried pussycat whipped soap because who doesn't want to smell like fried pussycat? <laughs> Juicy plum and whipped caramel wrapped in artesian bourbon vanilla and jasmine blossoms. So you smell a sweet scent, but it's very light. And um, I think what's going on with this scent is, and it looks like marshmallow fluff, by the way. It looks so awesome. You probably can't even see that on camera. Ooh, no, you kind of, but I think like, all the scents were light and they kind of mixed together into one light sweet scent which I don't mind at all because I really enjoyed the scent for this but I can't smell one scent individually it's just like they're all mixed together sort of and it's really hard to um decipher which scents going where but I really like the scent in general and I've never used a whip soap before so I'm super excited to try this out so yes that is this whipped soap product fried pussycat and then the last product is the Christmas bonus deep conditioner so this is contest time guys basically this is their third annual mystery fragrance no hints there's a $50 FCS gift card certificate up for grabs so email your best guesses to customer service at fortunecookiesoap.com a winner will be chosen and announced on our Facebook page on December 22nd so basically this is a deep conditioner no hints on what the scent is I need to smell it, take a guess on what it is, and email customer service, and they'll announce on the Facebook page who wins. So obviously, I'm not going to tell you what I think the scent is because that's my guess, and if I guess it out loud, then everybody's going to find out what I think, and they're going to try submitting that. So whoever is the best to the winning for this one. But yes, that is the last product for the soap box. And I, like I said, I actually really enjoyed these scents a lot more than the fall soap box. And it was based off one of my favorite Christmas movies. So that made it really exciting too. And I'm just so happy about this box. Really, really happy. And yeah, I can't express how awesome Fortune Cookie Soap is. And they did an amazing job on this box. So this was the description, um, 
pamphlet and I just want to show what the front looked like. Old fashioned family Christmas. Jelly of the Month Club, official member. Oh yes, I'm an official member of the Jelly of the Month Club. You won't get that unless you see the movie. And on the back, as always, is the $10 uh, code. And I um, still gotta use the one from the other soapbox too, so now I have $20 off. And um, they had a bunch of the sprilly, lovely stuff inside. And in there, there was a little sled, really cute, and there was a little Merry Christmas thing, little Christmas uh, ornament, a tree, little tree, snowflakes, and different colored reindeer. There was a blue one in there too. And that is it for the Fortune Cookie Soap fall box till three more months till the next one I'm super excited to see what they'll have for spring and for eventually summertime and who knows what theme that'll be based off of so yeah and next video will hopefully be either my car or a, or a guest Marilyn soap video but thank you so much guys for watching I'm sorry if I wasn't as enthusiastic because of what happened with my filming but in the end, the video actually still worked out, so I'm really happy about that. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and I hope you enjoyed the video as always. And Merry Early Christmas! It's not even Thanksgiving yet. So yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye!